friends welcome back to our channel myasimhelp.in uh, in this video we will look about the sap public cloud starter system as you know public cloud is one of the buzzing word now um, so i like to uh, tell about what the starter system is all about okay so this is the um, timeline chart these are all the phases like in the activate discover prepare explore realize deploy run etc uh, here if you see below this uh, during the prepare phase only we start you know asking i mean uh, what we call it as provisioning the starter system so the starter system like not in the on prem edition where our own basis guy will do since this is public cloud we have to raise the request to sap sap will raise this uh, they will provision the starter system and give back the uh, web link with the uh, user id password etc okay so here is where this starts uh, you can see here during the setup and enablement uh, as part of the prepare phase the startup system is getting uh, uh, provisioned okay uh, the starter systems actually comes with the pre-configured data also okay uh, some of the master data under configuration uh, as per the scope ids okay as per the scope id what you selected so there will be some set of master data etc which will be there and one of the thing important activity using the starter system is to perform our fit to standard workshop uh, if you see here this fit to standard workshop will be done on the starter system only so that you will show them uh, how the standard process helps so as part of your scope id you will have a best practices you can run them and you can show them how it will help them to uh, head the fitment for their business processes okay once our fit to standard analysis uh, is actually completed then the same starter system will be used by the business users also from the client side or the customer side they will also use to perform the execution of standard processes so we can give them uh, access and they can try to execute it okay so this is uh, the next use of the starter system uh, and one important more one important thing is like the starter system is kind of a standalone system we generally don't uh, move any configuration or master data from here to here okay so whatever you do on the starter system you should be aware that it will be decommissioned very quickly so if you see this the timeline here it is only between the prepare phase 2 and some time of the release phase correct which means once you start requiring Requesting your production system within 30 days of your production system deployment, the starter system will by default decommissioned by SAP. It will not be available for you. Okay, that is very very important. If you see this five six seven and all, that is development test production three system. But then you can see this uh, once the production system is done, this will be uh, discontinued. Uh, so these are some important things about the starter system. Uh, please uh, let me know if you have any uh, comment or any feedback or any questions I will try to address. I just covered at a very high level. You can do more research on the uh, SAP help and we can you can come back to us if you have any questions or any other thing. Okay, thank you.